right, this is an overview of the HeartSign 350P AED. So uh, as you can see, we've got this one here in the protective case, uh, which has a back case here for extra supplies. Uh, it has a first responder kit attached as well. Um, what you'll notice here is on the front, you've got the on off button prominently placed there. The shock button is just above it. Uh, the readiness indicator flashing green up here in the corner. And then when you turn on the unit, um, it's actually going to show you um, adult patient call for medical assistance the location of the pads Remove where to place clothing those from pads. patient's chest um, to expose bare skin and it shows you those arrows of where to place the pads as well pull green tab to remove pads so as it mentioned there in order to remove the pads we're going to pull this green tab on the case and you can actually then pull the green tab here on the AED to pull um, pull the pads out you can do everything you need in the emergency event right with the AED in the case, um, but just for purposes of demonstration here, I'll pull this out and show you how we pull that pads cartridge out just like that, exposing the pads. Then we're going to rip those pads open um, and place those onto the patient. When it's time to replace the pads, That's done by these two tabs on the side, and we're just going to squeeze those two tabs and slide the pad pack out. And then we can take our other set of pads, our new pad pack, and slide it right into the position. Keep in mind with the heart sign units that the pad packs contain both the pads and the battery, both which last for four years, so it makes it really convenient. In this case, I've got a set of pediatric pads in the back so for demonstration, we'll show inserting this set of pads. The easiest way to ins insert the new pad pack is to actually place it flat on the ground like this and just slide it right into location. Um, so that's exactly the same with the adult pad pack, but if you have uh, pediatrics at your site and you have a pediatric pad pack, um, that's exactly how you would switch it out in an emergency as well. And then you would just turn on the unit Child patient, call for medical assistance. And you can see it recognizes that and goes into the pediatric mode. Other than that, attached to the AED, we're always going to have a first responder kit. These are typically going to have uh, the same sorts of supplies, no matter what type of first responder kit you have. And it's always going to include a heavy duty uh, medical style razor to shade the areas on the chest where the pads go if needed, uh, a set of non-latex gloves, trauma shears or also known as heavy duty scissors uh, which can cut through clothing, underwire bras, anything like that, jeans as well, and then that one-way breathing mask that we need to uh, offer that protection for breathing um, and a couple towelettes. So that's all included in the device as well. And uh, that basically sums up the, uh, the HeartSign 350P.